Hey guys, welcome back to the Minecraft video with me. Today we're looking at new texture changes, specifically in the latest release, 1.7. That's right guys, 1.7 has just come out today, and, or, yesterday, and, um, it has been really cool to have all this stuff finally implemented. I thought they were waiting for Minecon. I guess I was wrong. But it is Minecraft 1.7 that we are in. And because there's some other stuff that have been added and people are still focusing on the old snapshots, I'm going to focus just on the new texture changes that have been added for 1.7 specifically, not the snapshots before it. But just the new stuff that came from the difference of like 43 to 1.7. So going right into this, the main, main thing that I'm going to be focusing on is the wood. And believe it or not, the oak tree, well, it's probably believable because it's the first wood that was ever having, is the only wood that has not had any texture changes to any of its blocks. But, you know, moving on, these are the four uh, standard trees and these are the new trees. And um, the only wood, actually, the only tree to get entirely new texture all of its own is the uh, acacia. Dark wood is kind of... It has uh, similarities of spruce, so uh, we can talk about that, though. So the change that has kind of been added for the regular trees is the top of the wood and now has its own texture as well, whereas before they were all like oak. And um, just recently in 1.6, they made it so you could change the edge at the top to be it, but they didn't actually change the inside, and it was only an option that you could do using external editing tools. However, now it's actually different. Like, this one hasn't changed that much, but it has a hint of red. I really like them. Um, the only one I kind of despise is this. It kind of looks OCD craftish, if you know what I'm saying. A little too non-HD, if you will. Um, so moving on to the, the really different one, and, you know, one that I might not build with the most, but is uh, a pretty cool wood all the same. I can definitely see some uses. It goes well with the uh, spruce wood, actually. Excuse me. And um, it is an interesting tree in the fact that the leaves don't have enough of a texture for what it is, in my opinion, because you just see straight through the sky if it's just one thick, which is an interesting fact. They're just using the oak leaves right now for the textures of the new trees. Hopefully they'll change that. I really hope they do. Maybe not with the roofed oak, because that's still technically an oak, but, you know, at, at least with the acacia, make something different. But it kind of goes along with the red color theme. These are just a few examples. I don't know why. And um, the top's pretty cool. It's like a gray ghostish on the outside. Anyways, moving on this one, I call it the chocolate wood. You know, the dark oak wood is just it's dark and rich. The top's pretty cool, but the planks, man. My favorite wood, probably it's a combination between uh, birch and spruce. Because I like spruce like it was darkness. But now, compared to this, like, it looks all faded out and not as good anymore. Like, that, it's topped it. It's so rich and, like, oh, I can't wait to build it this, let me tell you. And just as a uh, reminder, they have both of their own stairs and slabs as well, so don't worry, that was implemented. Unlike some other blocks that have been implemented for, like, ever, and they just recently got their slabs and stuff, so, you know, don't worry about that. Um, so those are the major changes for wood. Uh, looking forward to new leaf textures, cross your fingers. Um, yeah, so just a few quick things. Um, a uh, main thing that actually happened in one of the snapshots, not for 1.7, was the pufferfish texture was changed, but since we're talking about textures, I figured might as well mention it. Um, the uh, last thing that kind of was notably changed is the kind of animation of the glowingness, the enchants on enchantment stuff. So if you look, essentially anything, they look brighter now. And that is because the animation just goes quicker, so the bright, shiny part is appearing longer, so it appears brighter is all. So, um, that's pretty much the last thing I want to say, except for, um, that's right, they completely boggered this all up, and I've never said that before, but I feel like I wanted to try saying it. Boggered. Anyways, Mojang, your new wood, amazing, awesome, great, good Mojang. This, bad Mojang. This is crap. Aggravates me to heck. Because before you could have these invisible map tricks, you can put, like, custom maps on top of something, and it would be, it would look really cool, because you set the background to whatever you want. 
and they had to make it so that the item frame now has a texture again. So anything that's invisible, you see the stretched out item frame behind it. It's all ruined, guys. <laughs> it's all ruined. It's all ruined. <laughs> yeah, so even the back, too, as you can see, those are the backs of the item frames. It's all messed up. And, uh, yeah, pretty much this, the, uh, they're still trying to figure out the texture for the stained glass, although I think they finally finalized this as this. They kind of washed it out a little more, and they made it so that you can't see any of the, uh, the other sides of the glass again, which is very nice. Uh, but one thing I want to, uh, test out real quick before we go is just do the water and ice thing and see... What's the deal with uh, if you can see it or not? Um, oh, you can. So, I don't know what they're doing. But, you know, they'll figure it out eventually. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.